Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This will be the first video of my painting process for the Marx Brothers that I've been building on the channel for a few videos now. I haven't finished the painting completely. Uh, I've hit a couple uh, big roadblocks that I'll show you in this video, but I'll show you my process so far. So the first thing I did was spray paint the pieces matte black. I have a matte black primer. I did two coats because of the instructions on the bottle. I think I did that wrong and you'll see what I mean later. But the next thing I did was pick out white details or really, really bright details that I knew I wanted really, really bright. For example, the chain and the piano keys on the piano. And of course they're white dudes. So I picked out all of their white skin. And then the rest of it was uh, particular details that I knew I wanted bright, like Harpo's knife, for example. I knew I wanted it to be a bright steel. I also did a couple of details on Gretra's shield, but things were going smooth. I was using two thin coats. I had this really, really light gray, or uh, I think it was just white, and I had mixed a little black in just to start testing different shades of light gray. But disaster was soon to strike. So I decided to start experimenting with my color scale. And what that means here is that I actually just mixed up a gray on my pad and put it down on the model to see what a darker piece would be. So I knew that their boots would be like a dark leather. So I uh, painted them up with a darker gray. Kind of a mistake. If I had established a gray scale earlier, I would have been able to later come back and check the grays I'm using so that I know the uh, ratio of white to black to make each gray. Secondly, if you don't go dark enough to start, you have to darken it up later. And I'll show you why that's a problem in a sec. So like I was having with the darker gray, I'm having the same issue with the whiter gray here because I didn't create a system beforehand of how dark I wanted each gray to be so that I could later go back and reference it. I just kind of had to paint every piece, the whole color every time. So it was contiguous, continuous, contiguous. One yeah, I haven't finished the project yet, but I got to say so far, my proudest part of the paint job is the dry brush right here on this knife. Now, uh, for those who watched the other videos, you'll remember this knife blade broke off the gun. So to have it stick on and work real nice and then to get this really nice clean dry brush on it, I was very happy with this result. So proudest part of the project so far. Say that 10 times fast. Catastrophe two, my gray paint is getting all sludgy on my palette. So I grab this stuff, pouring medium made by Liquitex. I had it in my kits and I mixed it with all of my sludgy gray paint that was left on my palette. It had congealed a bunch and I needed to use it. I tried to save it with this. Now here's the problem. Pouring medium, super glossy finish. I had no idea. I'd never used this stuff before. So I was left with this finish that I now have to paint another color on top of and it won't bind as well. Also, one of the really big uh, kind of final stage elements of that will end up being that parts of it will be shiny and other parts won't be because I'll have to layer up other matte paints on top of it. So that wasn't a, a great accident, but it happens. Like earlier when I mentioned I should have figured out the ratio and written it down and stuck to it, likewise, I'm getting screwed here by my own mix that I won't later be able to recreate. The other element of problem that's going on here is even though the gray paint went on wet looking like it was a lighter shade than his boots, when it dried, it was actually just as dark as his boots. So I had to make a whole new gray for when I was coating up the, his pants or boots again. So I'll figure out which one I'm gonna fix. Other than coloring in their pants here, I also wanted to pick out some other details or choice spots that I knew I wanted to be this darker gray. Again, I didn't realize that it was going to be the same gray as their boots, uh, but I'm trying to find a mid-tone right here. I'm thinking like a, almost a felt shade. Right? I'm imagining the Marx Brothers are wearing tweed suits. So I'm starting with that color and building out. 
And sorry to leave you hanging, guys, but that's where I'm at right now. I got a lot of stuff going on, so I'm not able to devote all my time to these guys. So I'm going to figure out how to fix that color differential. That's going to be a big one for me. And then uh, we're going to uh, paint up the whole pieces, uh, high shade and highlight. Uh, yeah, so I hope everybody had a good time. I uh, hope you learned something. If you enjoyed yourself, please like, comment, and uh, subscribe for more. And yeah, sleep well, everybody. Have a good one.